Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be talking about sensitivity in Valorant and how to find the perfect sensitivity for you. So before we get into it, let me just say sensitivity is mostly all personal preference. You just want to play on whichever sensitivity is comfortable for you and whichever one you perform well in. Don't let anyone tell you what sensitivity you should play on. If you see a pro player or somebody really good at the game playing on a certain sensitivity, don't think that that sensitivity will be insane for you too because sensitivity at the end of the day is down to your hand size, mouse grip, your mouse, your mouse pad, how you position your arm on the table. There's a lot of factors that go into which sensitivity is right for you. So don't let someone dictate what sensitivity you use. Um, you should be the one deciding it. And today I'll give you guys a couple tips and pointers on how to find the right sensitivity for you. All right, guys, let's get started on adjusting sensitivity. So first off, what I recommend as a baseline before you even get started with any of this is just find something that feels good when you're swiping around, right? So find something where you're you're like, oh, yeah, this is a nice sensitivity to just move around the map, look around. Find that sensitivity first. Once you have that sensitivity, load up the uh, practice range right here that I'm in. Press F3 and change the speed to medium. And you don't have to touch anything else. Don't touch anything else. Infinite ammo is on by default. Bot armor off is fine. And speed medium. So once you have these settings, walk up, put yourself right against the uh, bench right here and here's what we're gonna be doing this is our routine oh before I before we even get started on the routine start up a recording software OBS shadow play whatever you use to record your games is fine honestly you don't even need it if you don't want to but it's gonna be useful for analyzing your misses um, so yeah here's what we're gonna do we're gonna aim at this center pillar right here this is our neutral position so every time we kill a bot, we want to reset by moving our crosshair to the center. Okay, so if a bot pops up on the left, I flick, I kill him, and then I move my crosshair back. Always move your crosshair back here. This is where, this is our starting point. So we always want to reset back here once we kill a bot. So with that being said, just do that. Just kill 30 bots and, uh, you know, I'll tell you what to do after. All right, so that was pretty good. I missed five. So after you've you're done, hit stop on your recording. So I just shadow played my my little session here, and here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open up our file and take a look at it. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So this is the file I literally just recorded right here, and we're gonna be taking a look at it. So this is the reason why you want to record your session here. We're gonna be analyzing every single miss to see whether we're under aiming or over aiming and the results will affect whether we bump our sensitivity up, bump it down or don't change it at all. And I'll tell you guys how to look for that. So let's start here. We hit these ones, easy peasy. Okay, so this one right here I miss, okay? And if you guys notice, I actually miss because, oh, I actually can't go frame by frame. Where was that? Okay, so here it is. So right here, this is about as frame to frame I can get. This is where I ended. So this is where my initial flick ended, right here. Right next to his head, this would be an under aim. So the difference between under aim and over aim, if you some what for some reason don't know, is under aim is you're just falling short of the target. Over aim is I would be aiming somewhere here, overshooting the target. So this is an under aim, and if I were to end up here this would be an over aim so this isn't an en this isn't enough to tell me that i need to turn up my sensitivity we're going to keep looking so this right here i missed this guy 
when you notice if I go frame by frame, this right here is an over aim. So I overshoot him by quite a bit actually. Um, if I were, if my crosshair ended up here, it'd be an under aim. And here obviously is an over aim. So this one's an over aim. And I keep hitting these. Looks good. Looks good. This right here, overshot it just a little bit. That's an over aim, but I readjusted. Looks good, looks good. Okay. This right here, another under aim. So I don't want to take up too much time, but basically the gist of it is how to decide whether or not you want to bump up your sensitivity or bump it down is if you are consistently under aiming and you almost never over aim a target or you never over aim a target at all. So you're only under aiming people. That is when you should turn up your sensitivity. So bump it up by like, I don't know, 0.03 or 0.02, you know, small increments at a time, but not too small. Cause then obviously you're taking all day, but maybe like 0.02 or 0.03 at a time. And then once you bump it up, redo the training test three or four times maybe, or once if you're short on time. But for most consistency, get used to the sensitivity a little bit, you know, break it in and then do a run where you do the same thing we just did right here. And if you're still under aiming, bump it up even more. So you see where I'm going with this. This is how you, this is how you uh, adjust your sensitivity so that it fits you perfectly. Um, is just by analyzing whether you're over aiming or under aiming. So right here, I'm over aiming. So how do you know when you don't want to change your sensitivity at all, right? Like in, in my case, my sensitivity is already pretty good for me. And the reason I know that is because we just had, I just had like two under aims and two over aims. So I'm consistently missing. It, it sounds weird to say, but I'm consistently missing. So I have some under aims, I have some over aims. That just means I just missed that shot. If your sensitivity feels good and you're not consistently under aiming and you're not consistently over aiming, that just means you're missing your shots. If you're consistently overshooting your targets, that might be a sign that your sensitivity is a little bit too high and you need to turn it down. So you really see where I'm going with this is if you're consistently over aiming, lower your sense. If you are consistently under aiming, make your sense higher. That's basically it. Do that until you get a run like me where I'm over aiming and under aiming, but mostly hitting all of my shots. And that is how you know that that is your sensitivity perfect for you. And that's really it guys. That's really, it's really that easy. Just do this over and over again, and you will find the sense that is right for you. But that's pretty much it guys. That was the video. I hope this helped you guys out with finding your sensitivity. Um, if it did leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.